Only two years ago, she was completely penniless. There was only a small patch of homestead land, but there was no house on it. She was hardly able to eat one meal a day and was forced to keep herself and her family alive by begging. After only two years, this miserable life story turned into a bright future. It is the story of the life of Amirun Begum of Jod Dhunot village under Dhunot Upazila under Bogra district. <laughs> Not only Amirun Begum, but also another 13,000 destitute villagers have found a new way to live with food security, decent shelter and regular incomes sufficient for the entire family through the intervention of the Do Not Integrated Development Project known as DIDP. DIDP believes that the problem of poverty in Bangladesh can only be solved if poverty is eradicated among the poorest of the poor. Amirun Begum and many others like her are now enjoying these benefits and are leading decent lives. <laughs> DIDP began working with the poor of two unions of Dhunot in 1986 and is working in 10 unions today. From the very beginning, it has maintained a focus on those living their lives in the worst poverty and has worked together with them to improve their living standards. DIDP classifies the target families into three categories the hardcore poor, the very poor and the less poor. DIDP is the local extension of the Institute of Integrated Rural Development or IIRD which implements development works in six upazilas of Bangladesh. IIRD plans and implements all development activities in an integrated way so they have the most benefits for the target families. Jader Prajon employmented Tader Junamra afforestation program and Madhume Amra Kormashan Sistikuri, but food for works program Jeguliase, Shigulir Madhume Tara Duiniki, Kachkure, Kaja Binume, Kadoba, Kaja Binume, Ortho Tara Parjon Kore, Jeu Parjona Madhume Tade Kaddo Shankot, immediate Kaddo Shankot, Ikutepare, Nibaran Kutepare. IIRD considers the target families as its development partners. Various programs such as roadside afforestations, sericulture or poultry have been undertaken to provide target families with a solid economic foundation. Under this project, more than 100,000 trees were planted on 187 kilometers of roadsides. Furthermore, Development partners receive 60% of the profits from the sale of wood when trees are cut or pruned. IIRD and the local authorities both receive another 20%. <laughs> একটা গাছ ইন আছে যে ধুত গাছ নাই সে জায়গা আপনি বসেন না এই গাছটা যাদু বসেন অক্সিজেন টানে কত আরাম পান ঠান্ডা লাগে কত সুখ হয় IIRD takes these plantations as another tool for poverty eradication nearly 50000 mulberry trees have been planted along roadsides in Thunot which enables DIDP to operate the sericulture program the leaves of the mulberry trees provide fodder for the silkworms raised by the female development partners. Because of the mulberry plantations, the silk industry has been flourishing and providing many households with substantial incomes. Once it was thought that silkworm rearing was not possible outside of Rajshahi. But IIRD has developed the silk industry in Dhunot, in Netrokonat, and in Kochua Upazila of Chantpur district. About 1,500 development partners 
are now earning their livelihood through this industry. The products are sold at IIRD's sales outlet in Dhaka. The money from the sales goes back to the development partners. Most of IIRD's development partners are women. Halima Khatun of Bohalgacha, a silk industry worker, says that she is not only able to earn her living through DIDP, but that the organization even provides for her security. A few months ago, her one-year-old son drowned in a nearby water body. <laughs> The food security advisor of the delegation of the European Commission for Bangladesh visited the rural areas to observe the progress in the lives of the rural women like Halima. IARD has been addressing some of the main problems of, of these people and in this center for example we can see one of the different initiatives uh, IARD has taken to uh, provide some employment opportunities to, uh, to the extreme poor and particularly women. The European Commission provides funds for the poverty eradication programs of IIRD. The Commission's contribution is 2,625,000 euros as well as 5,000 metric tons of wheat which was given over a three-year period. Through 2006, the European Commission will give a total of 560 million euros for the government of Bangladesh and NGOs. One-fifth of that amount is specifically set aside for continued activities uh, in favor of the extremely poor. Uh, we don't want our beneficiaries only to be uh, recipients of aid. They also want to try to help them build up their lives. It's not only material improvement, but it's also uh, in terms of access to, to education, access to health, access to other public services, and not uh, least, uh, last but not least, access to justice. Through IIRD's initiative, it provides a hopeful future for the children of the poor. 293 non-formal primary schools have been built for the development partners' children. These schools are known as child development centers. Most of the students are not able to attend government schools in the morning hours because they have to help their parents at work. The school hours and the curriculum at IIRD's CDCs are based to particularly suit the needs of the children. Through its integrated development approach, IIRD was able to reduce poverty by 50% in Dhunot. A researcher of the Bangladesh Institute of Development Studies independently verified IIRD's exceptional result. We had seen that there have been tremendous changes in the economic condition of the households as reflected in their food security, in their income and in their housing condition. Household having year-round food security has increased from 5% to 89%. Similarly, the mon monthly income of the graduate households has increased by 235 percent. IIRD knows it has reduced poverty in Dhunot according to its objective. Daridro bimochonta ashole to ratarati samadhaner kono bishoy na. Ita ekta prokriya. Ei prokriya pathomik bhabe amra khaddo shankot tarar dur korar porei tarar porjakrome. Ami jeta bolici je porjakrome tarar tarar tadher abostha pori borton kore. IIRD began to implement development activities in Netrokona Shodarupazela through its Netrokona Integrated Development Project or NIDP. 
One of the most important accomplishments of the EC-funded project has become the new home for 120 formerly totally landless families. Just a few years ago, these development partners would never have thought it possible that one day they would own their own home. The main source of income is the 22-acre lake situated in the center of the resettlement project where fish are cultivated and caught once a year. In addition to the housing and the source of income, this newly created village also offers two CDCs, a mosque, a Hindu temple and a handicraft training center where poor women can learn a trade and receive employment. কাইতাভারি <laughs> NIDP, however, does not only work with the landless people of this particular village. It works with all those who have to live their lives in inhuman conditions in the 12 unions of Netrukuna Puzela. Most development activities have a number of benefits. Building rural roads helps to protect localities and agricultural lands from floods while the embankments on which they are built can be used for roadside mulberry plantations, which makes it possible to run the silk industry. This Janachur factory of Thunot is funded by Demos Comité of Belgium and provides employment for six female development partners. Fifty-five development partners are working in this garment factory at Netrokuna. They own 80% of the factory and the profits they make. The garments produced here are sold to the poor at low rates and the poorest of them can even pay for them in installments. The chalk factory at Pechibari Canal in Dhunot is a perfect example of a small and profitable cottage industry. In this mobile training center at KIDP, female development partners learn different skills with which they can earn a living. Another such training center is being operated at Sherpur Puzela under Bogra district. There is also a clinic for children under 5 at Kochua, which provides free treatment for about 75 children a day. There is also a hospital at Dhunot where the development partners receive free treatment.
However, the dusk is not a mere alarm of a dreadful hollow. In these poverty-stricken lives, a beam of hope of a well-off future is being scattered. That certainty is bringing cheerfulness back into the lives which the children are displaying so openly. But there is one person among many who is working specially hard and whose personal efforts have brought about so much of the change. He is William Christensen. He gave up his teaching profession and devotes himself completely to the well-being of the poor. As a teacher, I learned that and I taught that the poorer countries were in greatest suffering because of my own country and other countries, the system of trade, the system of um, the economy, world economy. So I uh, had a great desire uh, to commit my life to this work and opportunity came to go to India where I worked for six years, got some experience. Then I was almost one year in Nepal and then in 1986 very fortunate to come here and I'm very happy to make this my home. Is this model of integrated development which William Christensen started effective in eradicating poverty in rural Bangladesh? Already we uh, have shared with some different groups like World Food Program. We've had uh, some individuals from different organizations. Uh, we've had people from Mexico. We've had people from Africa showing interest, from Kenya. We've had from India. Uh, so we certainly feel not only in Bangladesh, but other places this model could be of great service and we hope more and more people will come to know of it. One day, his dream will likely become a successful reality. IIRD and other organizations will implement this model all over Bangladesh and thus a brilliant new day will dawn for each and every poor child in Bangladesh. <laughs>